you can't feel like you're complete, and you're connected to life universally if you're not in China, because this is such a large portion of uh, our world's population, our humanity. We truly have to be part of China if we want to be part of the world. We have the big Canadian team here to help us with this mission. And you know, Dallas, Austin. It's just a magical experience, you know, the whole experience being here and everybody looking out for us and taking care of us in a place where, you know, eight to ten years ago we couldn't come and do something like this. So it's a really, really big deal. The NBA cares. Well, I've been on a number of trips with Starkey. This trip to China is a leap forward. <laughs> This is our first event in China. To be able to have the Chinese people open their hearts to us through hearing has been something that Bill has worked, you know, 50 years to achieve. We're going to be fitting over 6,000 patients in the cities of Xi'an and Chengdu. We're really, really excited about it. <laughs> the Starkey Hearing Foundation has found a very strong partner in China, uh, Madame Tao, who is uh, helping us so much with the uh, Association for the Disabled. They've really come to the fore with a lot of help. Quite an effort has been put into supporting what we're doing. For her to be able to visualize this happening before we came and to pave the way for us to be able to do this so freely, it's just one of the most remarkable efforts in my career. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> this is Tao, is the woman that broke those barriers. And when she stood there in the park and said, you know, Bill Austin and the Starkey Hearing Foundation is bringing peace to the world, and I think it's possible. You know, that statement is so powerful because all it takes is one person in Mrs. Tao's position, and she is taking it to the bank. Every time somebody sits in, in our chair, you instantly have a relationship with them. And I mean, you just want to be successful for them. You want to be the best you can be for them. We don't give up until they, they're happy in hearing. This is why we're here. Makes it all worth it. We want to break down barriers between people that comes from people not knowing each other. Me, you, and me. Considering it's the first sanctioned charity event to ever come to China, I think it's magnificent to be part of it. And uh, to make that difference, people have absolutely known that we've come to help them and have thanked us numerous, numerous times for doing it. My world without sound it wouldn't exist, for one as far as the popular music industry. Most people don't know how to read music. That's how a lot of us learn to play instruments, is by playing along with other people's records. This question you ask, whenever a person has a different hearing in each ear. You know, so if you couldn't hear those records to play along with them, then it's a whole nother, it's a whole nother thing. There we go. Um, and still to this day, I can't read music. I still play by ear. It's really important to me to make sure that I can help somebody else have that same gift. <laughs> NBA has a long history in China with the number of um, fans that we have over here. In some particular games, we have more people watching in China than we have the total population uh, in the United States. <laughs> Yao Ming is just a, a tremendous person to get out here and put his stamp of approval on the Starkey Foundation's journey into China. I think the boy sometimes we really affect people's mental. Um, we hear about people sometimes very, uh, very close their self uh, because they, they cannot hear. They, they cannot affect people's heart. Listening to this, this, this older lady telling me that this was the first time she heard in 15 years, it was just remarkable. Stop it. Stop. 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 Stop
she heard my voice and I didn't know my voice was so inspirational and, you know, uh, so moving. You know, she was so excited and, you know, we connected. We had a moment, you know, we just hugged and, you know, just celebrate the joy of her hearing again. The heart sometimes is hearing. That's the way to connect to people, to learn uh, each other and to listen to the heart. That's what I'm thinking of uh, Stucky Foundation did great things. What's the goal? A million? Yeah, well, we said we'd do a million in this decade. It's taken me, uh, you know, almost 50 years <laughs> to do the first million. I figured I'd do the second million faster in 10 years. You know, when you look at somebody like Bill, um, I admire him so much because I see a lot of myself in him. And I think that's what made him really click. It just takes two seconds for you to see that with somebody and to see how much they care about something from a whole other standpoint. It's like being in a whole other plane. That's my, I'm at my starting pace. I know I'm going to end up there. All the missions that he's been on and all the people that he's helped, whether it's him, whether it's Quincy, Richard Branson, it's a lot of people who really, really care, um, that's really successful. And those people are like, the, you know, they're like the glowing stars of the planet. He is an action person, and no one outworks him and Tanny. Uh, as far as helping people. I, uh, I admire that type of leadership and uh, I love to participate in it. She's a strong lady. You know, you always hope that things will be better than what you planned. You know, I don't, <laughs> I don't think that I've ever been prouder of our organization or my husband, ever. Thank you, sweetheart. That's great. We can't be so separated. We have to understand each other that we're the same people and, and learn to just work together and help each other.